Hi, it's Corey, and today you're gonna learn how to play an easy version of Valerie by Amy Winehouse. So for this easy version of the song today, we are looking at six different chords, but what's great is they're all very beginner friendly chords and they transition really, really well into each other. If you're at all interested in the lead sheets for this song or any of my other tutorials, make sure to check out my Patreon and the link is in the description box below. First things first though, always make sure your ukulele is tuned before you get started playing. That's going to be a G on the fourth string, a C on the third string, an E on the second string, and an A on the first string. The first chord you're gonna need for this song is going to be an A major chord. You're gonna take your first finger, place it on the first fret, third string, and then your second finger is gonna go on the second fret, fourth string. You're also gonna need an A7 chord, which is really great because if you're in that A major position, all you have to do is lift up your second finger and that's what an A7 is. So it's the first finger on the third string first fret. The next chord we're gonna be looking at is the D major chord and it's gonna take place all on the second fret here. So your first finger is going to be placed on the fourth string, your second finger is gonna be placed on the third string, and your third finger is gonna be placed on the second string. And for this particular one, it's important to make sure your thumb is right behind that second fret. Next up is an E minor chord. That's gonna be your first finger on the first string second fret, your second finger on the third fret second string, and then your third finger on the fourth fret third string. We're also using an F sharp minor, which I know maybe sounds a little bit scary, but it's actually really easy to play. It's the same shape as a G7, so if you're familiar with that chord, you already know how to make it. It's just over a string. So what you're doing is your first finger is gonna go back where that A7 position is. Your second finger is gonna go back where the A major position is on that fourth string second fret, and then your third finger is gonna go on the second fret third string. And lastly, we have a G major chord. You're gonna take your first finger, place it on the second fret third string, your second finger is gonna go on the second fret first string, then your third finger is gonna go on the third fret second string. And with that, those are all the chords you need for this song. Now, I said earlier that this song has a ton of really easy transitions and a lot of the chords are very similar. If so, if you know how to play one, it's going to be really easy when thinking of moving on to another chord. A big transition here that you're going to be noticing is especially in the pre-chorus, you move from a G chord to that F sharp minor. So if you notice what I'm doing here is I'm leaving my first finger on the third string and I'm just moving it up the frets. So G to F sharp minor. I'm just moving my second and third finger into their positioning, um, but you don't have to lift up your first finger. I find it's definitely a lot easier to just slide on up on that first finger up to the first fret when moving from the G to the F sharp minor. It's a little bit more tricky when moving from F sharp minor back to G, but still very doable. And then of course, if you're in that F sharp minor position, it's really easy to then transition to the A major because all you have to do is lift up your third finger and you're already in the A position. And then of course, from the A major from this chord here to go to the A7 when you get to the chorus you just lift up the second finger so the entire transition that you're doing there is going to be moving from the G to the F sharp minor to the A major to then the A7 and then you go into the D which is a full lift up for a lot of the songs in particular in the verses you're just moving from the D chord to the E minor chord. So that's a pretty big leap. But if you practice that over and over and over again, going and on repeat and making sure you don't have any gaps in your transitions, you'll be set for that. And then basically once you get through the chorus, you know all the musical material for this song. You're just repeating and then also changing up the words on the second verse. Let's talk about strumming pattern. For this, we're gonna keep it really simple and just be using the basis of the island strum. Played on a D major chord, it is a down, down, up, up, down, up. We're going to be spicing it up a little bit and adding a chuck though. So that down, down, up, up, down, up is gonna turn into a down, chuck, up, up, chuck, up. Now you're gonna play this pretty quickly, okay? So when playing it at tempo with the song, it's like that. So that's down, chuck up, 
up, check up, down, check up, up, check up, down, check up, up, check up, down, check up, up, check up. Now, if that's too complicated for you, you can 100% just drop the chuck. If that's too complicated, you could play on the beat, which would sound like this. And if that's even too complicated, you could just play on the chord changes, which would be a down strum only when the chords change. I always recommend if you're a beginner player to start with the chord change pattern, then move to the beat, then adapt the strumming pattern without any chucks, and then move to the chuck version. A couple other notes just as far as where we're going to deviate from the strumming pattern is at the re-entrance of the first verse, we're just gonna play on the chord changes for the first few lines. And then after we get to that point of just playing on the chord change, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, and then since I've come on home, and we're gonna go right back into the strumming pattern. This way it just gives a little bit of contrast from the rest of the song. And it's a little, it's not a slower section, it's going to feel slower because we're dropping that energy and momentum of the strumming pattern, but the tempo does not change in and of itself. Additionally, when we're going through after that revisiting of the first verse, when we get to the chorus, we're just going to hit a strum on why don't you come on over Valerie? And then we're gonna go back to the strumming pattern. And then finally, at the very, very end, after that chorus, we're gonna end on why don't you come on over Valerie? and that's all gonna be on chord changes for the end of the song. But otherwise, it's pretty much the everything being revisited. If you want though, that's totally optional. You can just continue doing it on the strumming pattern if that's what you want. Or also I always encourage people like do whatever sounds cool to you. These are meant to be guides to help you learn the song and learn the pieces so you can make it your own. I always say to people, if you wanted an exact version, you should probably just do like a karaoke version, but that's why you have an instrument in your hand so you can learn how to play it the way you want and make your own covers and be able to do cool stuff with it. So with that, let's give it a play along. One, two, here we go. And well, sometimes I go out by myself and I look across the water and I think of all the things and what you're doing and in my head paint a picture since I've come on home and when my body's been a mess and I miss your ginger hair and the way you like to dress won't you come on over stop making a fool out of me why don't you come on over that your house up for sale did you get a good lawyer lawyer i hope you didn't catch tan hope you find the right man who'll fix it for you are you shopping anywhere change the color of your hair are you busy You have to pay that fine. Word you're dodging all the time. Are you still dizzy? Since I've come on home, and when my body's been a mess, and I miss your ginger hair and the way you like to dress, I want you to come on over. Stop making a fool out of me. Come on over, Valerie. 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 Well, sometimes I go out by myself and I look across the water. 
And I think of all the things of what you're doing And in my head I paint a picture Since I've come on home And well my body's been a mess And I miss your ginger hair And the way you like to dress I want you to come on over Stop making a fool out of me Come on over, Valerie. 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 Why don't you come on over, Valerie? And that's the whole song. That's like the easy version of the song. So if there are other Amy Winehouse songs that you absolutely love, make sure to comment down below and give this video a like. Tell me what those songs are. I'd love to make a tutorial for you or a play along. I want to be making the stuff you guys want to see. So if you enjoyed this and you want to see more, make sure to let me know down below. But otherwise, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye. I've come on home and where my body's been